Howdy everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. Uh, today, uh, I want to talk about where cryptocurrency is at um, today. Just checking out um, the in real time where things are at in terms of overall the crypto space. Right now, what I'm showing is uh, the big five, as I call them. We're including Ethereum, Bitcoin, Ethereum Classic, Litecoin, and Bitcoin Cash. So right now, um, Bitcoin is down negative uh, 0.15%. Uh, Ethereum is 0.2%, negative 0.2%. Ethereum Classic at 0.08. Litecoin at negative 0.24. And Bitcoin Cash at negative 0.66. So out of that, the least negative is uh, Ethereum Classic on top of that with the overall weighted average with everything, including the volume. Everything's down. It's coming back. It may start to make some profit later today, tonight on October 7th. Um, but uh, it's right now negative. So I thought I would uh, bring up some of the charts on trading view and try to see if there's anything that I can see with any of these big uh, altcoins out there. Now, of course, I'm using Kraken as my option. Here I'll just use uh, Coinbase. I have done a study on the discrepancy in the pricing. So you can arbitrage between them, especially on Bitcoin because it's so big. But uh, let's check out some of these. Um, uh, some of these. Uh, let's see what kind of exchanges we come up with right now. So we have, let's say we look at uh, Coinbase for Ethereum USD. Um, now, obviously, these will have multiple multiple time frames. So what we're looking at right now is um, as it comes up uh, today would be nice. Obviously, I don't know why these sites have been really slow lately. But you can see here on the uh, upswing, and this is now going back. Let me just see here. So we have a sell signal for this, which is fine. Yeah, it's 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 hit, it's hit a, re, uh, a range bound. It had this upswing between the tenth and the thirtieth. But I'm more interested. Let's take check out the five day view with Ethereum here. See how that looks. Here you've had a nice run up on the seventh. Um, actually, it's pretty good actually. So we're talking. Price at one, let's say late uh, 1930 on the six, so from 168 to 182. So it's it's doing all right, but it's on a on a downswing now. So that might have been just missed earlier today. Let's check out Bitcoin. Actually, that that's a uh, I think that was a five day view. No, that's intraday. It's got to be uh, intraday. Okay, doesn't matter. Let's check out um, Bitcoin here. Bitcoin uh, USD, probably Coinbase as well. So this is the big granddaddy of them all, of course. Uh, usually, I find Bitcoin and uh, Ethereum they they, they co-integrate with each other. They're, they're, the, the, the the pricing actually is very similar. Um, out of a lot, maybe out of the five. Maybe Ethereum Classic, or sorry, uh, Bitcoin or Litecoin would be a little different. Let's check it out. I think it was a five-day view that I had. So it's completely in a range bound. Uh, there's a lot of dependence on back end to really drive up the price. But again, you can see the price did run up, but I'm surprised it's below 7800 But it, you had that run up there, $500 today. So that... It's just under 10%. So that's been a missed opportunity um, for those that have been waiting it out. So regardless if you always hear about the death of crypto, there's still always these opportunities here that uh, you can do quite well where you're going to make 7 8 10%. Um, and I think it's quite silly to call for the death of a crypto like that where you get uh, just under a 10% move. Let's look at Ethereum Classic. This one gets a lot of volume because it's so cheap um, but uh, this one 
in the, can be independent and usually is, a, is the early one that starts to profit. Um, but uh, um, yeah, actually that's the case, as I said, with the numbers I just mentioned here. So we are looking at, I don't remember what exchange this is, but uh, it doesn't matter. Yeah, so it's gone all flat. Uh, let's check out the five day. Let's see here, five day. Yeah, we've definitely missed out on that um, earlier today, near low point of point, oh man, uh, of uh, roughly uh, 446 all the way up to a peak of 472. So that's going to be just over 10% in a day. Pretty good. Uh, what else we got? Litecoin. Um, let, let's do first. Bitcoin Cash. So if there was a run up earlier today, that means that everything's kind of gone down and will be coming down, but it's definitely something that we missed. Uh, let's see here. Okay, uh, let's see Bitcoin Cash. Man, it's all slow. The reason I put up Bitcoin Cash before Litecoin is because um, you will see uh, similar moves with uh, Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash. Bitcoin Cash can do well, but uh, yeah, did well. There you go. That move right there from uh, from the seventh. Those are those are big returns right there. And again, you're doing this without any form of leverage. So on October sixth, eighteen twenty five, low of two sixteen, all the way up to two thirty eight. Again, that's going to be uh, just over 10%. Pretty good. And right now you have a sell signal. Lastly, we'll do Litecoin. I think Litecoin uh, may be the better one in this case. So it's Litecoin against US dollar. Um, so again, it's an opportunity we missed. So I don't, I don't know why anybody would want not want to participate in this because it's, I mean, the markets are doing okay at 1%, but 10% across five coins, um, that's a, a no-brainer if you ask me. Five-day move here. Um, let's check her out. Come on. This is for Litecoin. Come on. I don't know why that is not working. Um try another exchange I don't even know what I was using USD will do Coinbase all right but you see uh, the, the run-ups of around 10% of the four that I just showed you and it'll be much wider more opportunities with some of the smaller uh, coins so here you go. Again, sim similar. This is Litecoin again on, on Coinbase. So you've gotten from 52 to 58. So uh, I'm going to estimate that's 10, 12, 13%. So pretty good run ups. I don't know why people would, would want to miss out on that. Two things I can suggest for you. You don't want to miss out on these with the bot up on the only train bot. Python one, 249 right now, 247, I should say, 299 as of tomorrow, actually as of Wednesday. Today, October 7th, um, with some other juicy stuff. On top of uh, what I've got is the Forex. If you want to do Forex for an extra 50 bucks, and uh, that will uh, come to an end probably after, uh, come Wednesday, two days from now. And again, I'll be doing the, um, the uh, webinar tonight live at 7 p.m. in two hours, actually. Um, and again, we've got the free book. And if you want that Python course, just go over to the quantlabs.net uh, slash Python 3, and then the free book uh, or series of books, there's two, um, quantlabs.net slash book offering. There's some technical stuff that I show you how to, you know, if you're interested in that as well. So you can just sign up for that as well. Again, that's at uh, quantlabs.net slash book offer, and the other one for the Python is here at quantlabs.net slash uh, Python 3. Hopefully I'll help you out, and uh, too bad if you're not online, uh, you've missed out on some very good run-ups earlier today. 
10% of five coins I just showed you by a crypto with no need of leverage. That's the beautiful thing about it. All right, we shall talk to you later. Have a good day and uh, good night. Later.